how's it going? Nathan343 here and uh, drinking a little tea today. We have another product to look at. It's like Christmas. It is almost Christmas. We got about 40 some days till Christmas, 49, 48 days, something like that. So, comes in this nice packaging. What we got is a piece of paper. It's 2.8 inch square LED work lights. 5,500 lumens, 2,750 per light. These might make some good uh, reverse lights. They're little enough. <clears throat> yes, they are very little. <laughs> little indeed and a very long cord, very thick cord. Come with some, uh, some bolts, some screws, a long bolt. Come with a little cool little package. Whoa, what's on do that? These might, <clears throat> these might make some good, uh, good work lights or reverse lights or yeah, they're pretty nice. Comes with that bracket. Got all the cool information on here. <clears throat> Four six watt LEDs in here. I bet these little suckers are bright. But I like them. They're they're little. <clears throat> They'd be good for a reverse light. That looks like the um, the screw that's in the back has been epoxied. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it looks like where the cable goes in is really good and weatherproofed. That's always what I like to see in a light. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple brackets on these guys. Cool reverse lights. <clears throat> Maybe. A pickup truck or something. So we'll have to check these out. They're going to be a... a they're gonna be a flood just by the way these are. These little frosted lenses right here over the LEDs, that's gonna be a flood. So, yeah, we'll have to uh, check these little guys out. They're very cool. You can get a pretty good close up of them there. See the diodes, see how the quality of the, the light is. You can see there, uh, there is some coating. Let me um, do that. <clears throat> There's a little epoxy over that screw to help water resistant. That down in there looks really good. It's got some dust on it and dirt, but it's no biggie. Well, I don't see any name of the company, but I believe that's the company name right there. Prime Lux, Prime Lux, that's maybe it. Their names are on their light. I would like to see companies start putting their names on their lights. But it's lightweight. It's got a little lip. It's probably meant to be uh, mounted right that way. But I think it would look fine hanging upside down. You know, mounted on a... <clears throat> maybe we could mount these on a lawnmower. You know, I'll have to see. They're small. But they might pack a punch. So we'll have to see. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe. It helps the channel out more than anything in the world. So if you're liking these videos, uh, hit that like button. And uh, if you want to see more and you want to be notified, hit the subscribe button. It only takes a few seconds, but uh, go ahead and get that done. And uh, it'll help the channel out, and I really appreciate it. So anyway, we're going to be uh, wiring up these lights that we got. And I did the unboxing on. So we are going, these are little tiny lights, but I've already kind of plugged them into power just to see how bright they are. And they are, for, for as little as they are, they're extremely bright. But uh, they're gonna work perfect on our little mower here. We actually had some on there before and they quit. So uh, worked out perfectly. So we've got a bunch of wired, new switch, uh, some connectors. 
I've got to figure out how in the world I'm going to run the wire. Um, uh, I'm probably going to run it probably down the side. Get a uh, deal to hold the wire down here. Like I'm going to run it kind of like this. Probably on the back side of this handle. If I can get the wire over here. Do this one handed. And then run the wire down there. Get some wire clamps to hold it. Screw those down to hold the wire down the side. Run it over. Run it down through this hole here. I believe there's a hole on the other side. Uh, we can run power, which you've already got power ran from here. Uh, from the headache rack that I could probably take off and use to power um, what we've already got powered for here. Because I don't think we're actually, we're possibly even going to be taking this uh, headache rack off. Maybe even putting a bracket on it so we can fold it up and fold it down. So. All right. Well, we got them hooked up all but tidying up the wires and i didn't bring my tool with me from my house to uh, be able to take those little wire clamps off right there and i'm going to clamp the wire down on the side and pretty much just a little bit sticking up over there i don't know if i'm going to have to clamp it down i just kind of tucked it in between the gas tank and the, the metal plate there but uh it was pretty simple to wire uh the old wiring was here from the old light again i want to thank prime lux led uh, for sending these 48 watt 5500 lumen waterproof cubed 90 degree work lights out um, like again like I say they're really really small but they they're pretty bright these would be good for small side work lights or even reverse lights I've come with a very hefty long piece of cord I actually had to trim it down a little bit because I didn't need that much from where my wiring was but it comes with quite a bit like I said, if you're in the market for some small LED pod lights, go check these out. Sorry for the air compressor running in the background there. I've got a tire here that's slow. i got to air up. But, uh, yeah, I like them. I think they are, uh, I think they're very nice. Uh, they're flood. As you can see, if, if, you, if it was spot, you'd be able to see the diode a lot better. But you get four. I mean, they're small. They don't weigh very much. If you want something that's kind of hidden and sleek, if you're looking for something to light up the bed of your truck, Reverse lights, uh, they work great on lawnmowers, like I said in my uh, videos on my other channel. Uh, Off-road lights make great lawnmower lights. All right, well, there they are. They look really, really nice. I like them, I mean, they're bright. Very bright, four LEDs to the pod. Like I said, there's two of them there. And I'm gonna go out and see just exactly how much feet. I mean, they're really lighting way out up there, but the camera's not doing that justice at all. So roughly probably 75 feet, maybe, is where a good illumination where you can actually see, but you really can't tell, but it's really, really lightening up. I mean, I can really see the tops of the grass blades out there. Um, but what you can really see, maybe 25 to 40, uh, 25 to 35 feet out is where you can really see good with these and simple to wire up hot and ground wired them to a toggle switch not that hard to do uh, this uh, lawnmower now has lights and uh, we can use it at night with the time change this is going to help out a lot because we like to work uh, late into the night seven eight o'clock at night when it gets dark at 4 35 o'clock at night these are going to help and they're led so they're not going to pull that much even without the mower running, I could still technically leave these on for probably quite a while and the battery wouldn't go dead because they're only LEDs. So go check them out. Link in the description. Again, Prime Lux. Thank you guys for sending these to me. Thank I think it is really awesome that uh, these little pods shine out that much. So, and like I said, I had little brackets made here from, uh, we're going to put some on it anyway. It just happened to work out. So anyway, I'll uh, take you for a little ride here and just kind of show you what it looks like while you're driving, when you're mowing, you know. All right, we're mowing along. You can see the edge of your deck. I can see my feet way out in front of me. This one probably needs to be adjusted just a skosh. So 
again, really, really nice. I like how they look. They look really good. Like, I mean, go, go check them out. I really, really think they're awesome. And they're small. They got good heat sink on the back of them. Cabling's good. Like I said, the, the where it goes into the back of the uh, light doesn't look like it, the grommet. It doesn't look like it's going to have any water issues. Like I said, we will get it, uh, get back in touch. We probably won't use these a whole lot left this year. But uh, mid mid spring next year, uh, when we're working long hours and we're using these a lot at night, and we have them out in the snow and or not snow, it better not be snowing in the spring. It's possible. We have them out in the rain and the. Uh, all that good stuff check it out and see how they do and uh, give you kind of a final thought so april may sometime be looking out for that to come out if you haven't done so again like the videos get subscribed it helps the channel out more than anything in the world i want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers you guys rock thank you guys so much for uh joining the channel and joining joining a really cool channel again there's going to be a new vlog coming out i'll be making a separate video uh before that comes out and uh kind of vlogging about my day and uh, i want to you know take you guys along i, I want to make the channel more interesting so tell your friends new vlog the lot will still be product reviews i'm hoping to do one a week it may not start out that fast but may start out at one every other week or one every three weeks just depends on how fast i can edit and i know with the winter coming on i should be able to get stuff edited pretty quick and get them back out to you guys so um, it will be not as hard i would think to do uh, once i get to where i'm not so busy but anyway okay. thanks for watching guys i'll stop rambling on check out the vlog video which will be coming out friday this coming friday introducing you to what i'm going to be working on kind of talking to you about it giving you an idea and all that good stuff so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next one god bless and happy thanksgiving